Hey there, Forrest here. We're going to use the CMI custom text to make rules to work on a block here that we defined. So I place this block and I want it that when people right click the block that it does something. So in CMI interactive commands I am going to add a new one by clicking on the plus. And I will say uh, demo block for now so I know to remove it later. And I'm going to inspect what is here. So edit commands, edit the size for question. These are all clickable events. Add the block you are looking at or the entity. Well, that's a block. So we're going to add this as a block. And it is highlighted. This is perfect. We are done. And now we can switch to the command editor. We are now in the command editor where we can add a multiple command. So we can say message to the player name. Um, hey there. Let's test it. So get out of the way, you little piggy. So I'll just leave the chunk and I come back and I'm like, hey, there's a special block right there. <laughs> And in survival mode, if I right click it, it will tell me, hey there, which is exactly what we want. We can also click on it, hey there, and player name, and actually customize it. So that's how we edit the thing. And well, let's do it again. And uh, what are we going to do? CMI uh, TPS 1 for the last one minute. There's 160 and 300, I think. So we now get the TPS. So placeholders also work really cool. But let's remove the placeholder. We don't need that. Okay, let's add a delay. A delay is from a specialized command. So on the website, we can go to the menu and go to specialized commands where they will explain how to do that. So when I do that, I can enter something. Let me just double check. Here we go. That would be a delay of three seconds. And then we're going to do another thing. For example, um, um, let's see. CMI sound entity. Um, I don't know. Bad depth. Sure, why not? to the Mr. Flores. Yep, that works. Okay, so this is what we are going to add. All right, so we're going to add a command called CMI sound entity bet and then Mr. Flores is going to be the player name. And now we're going to right click. Hey there Flores, one, two, three, and there's the sound. Let's do it again. One, two, three. Perfect, that works great. But I want the sound to be first, so this is how we're going to customize it. We're going to move it up, and we're going to move the message down, actually. If I can click correctly, and then move this up. Am I not clicking this right? Why is this not working? Oh, wait a minute, I see my problem. Sorry, my bad, my bad. Okay, let's try it. One, two, three, and we get the greeting. All right, that's perfect. Now, however, I'm an operator, so the sound will play for me because I have access to the sound command, but a player doesn't. And on specialized commands websites, you can actually read all about it you can that's where this message comes from it's not see my message it's this one and there's broadcast and a bunch of other stuff so let's do a title instead of message and let's run it as a console command for the sound so that's exactly what is super helpful for us so i'll just copy this and uh, see my sound is going to be run as console so the permission is it doesn't matter and instead of a message that is run as console we're going to do a title so now it works one two three and there we have a title so instead of 
ask console, see my title, player name, and then a bunch of parameters, we can just do title, which is why those specialized commands are super awesome. Um, okay, so the rules are actually something that I've made. It's in the pinned message that I've made with C text because then I can make clickable links, I can use colors, all sorts of stuff. It's really handy. And I also use it for message of the day and custom help and everything. Um, but that's what we are going to use right here. We want to get something like this. And that's a C text. So see my C text uh, rules for Mr. Flores. Oh, that's ranks, sorry. Rules, Mr. Flores. All right, that's exactly what I want. So this is what we are going to add to display the rules as if they're typing rules. Um, so see my IC demo block switch to the command editor and I'm gonna add a new command and we just learned that we want to run it as a console so as console run CMIC text rules for player name that way we know for certain that it works for all the players let's see what happens one two three we get the title and there is our rules very cool this totally worked why oh pl title player name i <laughs> best thing for the video all right i might have to look up title <laughs> oh it says right here it runs it for all the players whoops all right maybe it's smarter there to use the right one this is also why it's important to test <laughs> sorry about that um all right, so that's how you use interactive commands and existing commands to put it all together so when somebody right clicks on this block that they can do something with this. Um, I need my mouse, here it is. And the little X here lets me delete it, which is perfect. Delete and it's gone. And now when we right click, nothing happens. Okay, all cleaned up. And that's how that feature works and how you can use Specialized commands with interactive commands and do all the fancy stuff. Hey, there's Alex from the Discord. So cool.